Brad Green is here with us in the walk and talk, who was playing on the basketball team and the redshirted and is playing again, but it's not basketball that you're best known for. It's cooking. So I hear. Yeah, um, I like cooking a lot. I think I got into it mostly when I started school. Going into my sophomore year, mm -hmm. um, that's when Colin came in and me, Colin, and Justin kind of had this idea of um, losing weight all together since I was on a good platform and they're like, they want to lose a few more pounds. Mm -hmm. So I started cooking mainly breakfast for us and then I forgot like how much I liked just food in general. Right. And you know, so when I was dieting, it was, what kind of foods can I eat? So I started looking up recipes. And then once I got my own uh, stove top in my apartment, it, it, was, it was game over from there. I, I so kept cooking. what were you making? A lot of my breakfast involved eggs and beans. Okay. Mainly because I kind of just picked up that whole uh, platform from home. Is it still only breakfast or have you ventured into the dinner cuisine? Oh, I do. I do mainly dinners. A lot of what I cook has been like salmons, uh, chickens. Perfect. I try to stay away from carbs for the longest time, so it was mainly some sort of veggie, uh, trying to cook different ways of veggie. So. Okay, Brad Green cookbook come in spring 2020, right? We'll, we'll try, we'll try. Okay, let's talk about this body transformation. Pretty significant. Yeah. What's the story? How did it start? I mean, I knew I was always big, but I always kind of had an excuse like, oh, I've always been big, so I'm big. Right. But then once I started losing weight, it was kind of like, all right, maybe I should keep doing this. And then eventually just got to this platform where it was almost fun for me to be in the weight room. If it's not in the weight room, uh, it's running. I like just being able to go to the beach, uh, just walking around there, or even I'll run to the beach from my place. Like just being able to be outside and work out, I feel like has just been a lot of fun since I've gotten to college. And that's kind of helped me as, as I've uh, made more and more progress. So when you came in as a freshman, what was the weight? What was on the scale? Do you remember the number? Uh, I always told the coaches 280. <laughs> Getting recruited, I was always like, oh, I'm about 280, you know. Um, when I first got here, it was probably about 310, realistically. Uh, through season, I kept gaining more and more weight, but I was like, oh, it's going to go away soon. Right. Uh, by the beginning of the spring, freshman year, I was uh, around 350. Wild. That's yeah, so it, And what are you at now? I'm about 262, 263 now. That's incredible. Yeah. Was it, were you self-motivated to start losing that weight or did it come from anyone on the team? No, it was... Instigating that? So our old strength coach, uh, Drew Mitchell, really helped me out. He, um, he was kind of making like this game with me where it's like, all right, how much weight do you think you can lose by this time? And so that kind of helped me motivate, like, all right, like I should be able to get here. And then once I reached it, it at that point I was like, oh, it was pretty easy to get there. Right. So then, yeah, I kind of took control after that. That's awesome. Well, how much better do you feel on the court? How has it helped your playing? I feel a lot better. And for sure, my conditioning levels are a lot better. I'm able to last a lot longer and just play the level where I thought I should be able to play coming into college. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it just feels great now. Good. Well, how about basketball? You're now back again after, like, that redshirt year we said. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to this season? Um, I'm just looking forward to getting back to the NCAA tournament with my team. Uh, I feel like we're, we can for sure make it yeah. and have the same success, if not more success, than the last year's team. Uh, having to sit there on the bench, they kind of hurt at times, you know, seeing everyone be successful, knowing I was playing with them the year before. So I always thought I should be out there, but then coming into this year, I kind of saw that and I was, as a motivator for us. And I was like, you know what, like, yeah, we could do that. We, we should be able to do that, and mm -hmm. I, so I'm just excited to see where this season takes us. Well, similar to most other student athletes here at UCI Urban, you have other stuff going on. I do. You've gotten in public speaking recently. I have. What's that about? I, it was really small at first. I would talk to some students who would come to campus who were Native American, um, just to kind of you know show them that there were Native American students here at UC Irvine. Mm -hmm. So first off, it started like that, you know, kind of just making them comfortable. And then I got an opportunity to do it at a conference I once attended as a high schooler. So it kind of just was there for a, to make Native American students feel like they could go to college. Mm -hmm. I was asked to go back there to speak on a panel of athletes. So there's some that were a D2, some that were junior college. And so that kind of like opened doors for me. I started doing that a little bit. And then I was asked to do um, like help out at a clinic for the NABI, the Native American Basketball Invitational in Arizona. And so I helped out at the clinic. And so this last year they asked me to go back and invited me to do the, uh, one of their educational summits, talking about becoming a student athlete and just going into college. I mean, that was my first time speaking in a big public like that. And it really, 
Like it made me feel really like in control of like what I was saying. Yeah. I've never been able to feel like I could talk like that before. So but yeah, no, I'm just trying to get that message of going to college to Native American youth. So that's kind of what's helped me want to do it more and more as Why I go. Why is that fulfilling for you to help spread the word that Native Americans can go to college, can be athletes? It happened a lot just when I was a kid. I mean, the reservation where I'm from in Lone Pine isn't big, but just people in general, like you don't see a lot of people go to college or have stories about college. And then as I got into uh, college basketball and I've traveled, there's been Native American like families that have been there to watch. And after hearing them like say like, oh, it's really cool seeing Native Americans like here and like like that they knew. It is really cool. Like that, that whole feeling of just what I could do as a basketball player was nice. Right. I just started thinking like what else could I do to help and I remember growing up I didn't have a lot of talk about like what it's like to be in college or how to get into college but I just, I just feel like the college life and the college education you get here can really help you in your life after mm -hmm. and so I feel like there should just be more Native Americans in college. That's great. Do you keep in touch with anyone on the reservation still? Growing up I was never a tribal member just with things going on so um, I recently got voted on as a tribal member so I'm now a Lone Pine Pite Shoshone tribal member. Oh so congrats that's, what does that entail? Thank you so like having that t as a title like you're a part of the tribe but it's nice um, my grandparents still live there my mom family are still there so you know it's it's nice to have that title now absolutely does it change the significance of you going home at all oh uh, no it's just the same thing it's just now it's um like i feel like it's actually like a place where it's mine now yeah. like part of mine too just because i have that title i'm i'm now like one with my like with my mom my grandma every my family that lives there and everyone that lives there so and now i can actually like express that i have that title so it's yeah. i don't know it's it's something it's something different that i've, I've never had that's great have you, has it reshaped your future in any sense? Do you feel like you may go into any sort of motivational speaking or anything outside of basketball? That's always been my goal is like, try to see how far basketball will take me. I don't know, after that, it's, I want to work with youth a lot, just the native youth. Try to see what I can do for them, how they can help me, how I can help them. So, because I know the connections with that are really, really big. So, just want to see like where that can take all of us. I'm sure whatever you go, seek out to do, it will be done well. Brad Green, the lean, mean basketball in the <laughs> Thanks for coming to the walk and talk. Good luck to you guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you.